Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, we're in No Man's Sky and we're hitting up the new Expedizione! Expedition Aquarius, and I'm doing this from my main save. Let's jump on over to the console. Let's see if it's available for me to run. Select equipment. I don't think there's much I really overly need to take with me on this one. At least I don't think there is. Hmm... I might take some warp engines like the idiom drive. Give me one second, people. Okay, people, I've got my idiom drive. I've got a couple of scanner modules. I've got the aqua jets. I've got a couple of scanners for the economy scanner, conflict scanner. And I've got a couple of baits and things that I think might turn into bait. But I've also got a few things to up my reputation with different races, just in case that's a thing in catching fish. Who freaking knows? Anyway, so I've just made a bit of a blind guess. So this is going to be my first sort of attempt with this, and I will be doing this again on my PC and making a top tips video from everything that I learned from this. So there we go. Let's accept. Let's jump on in. Let's start the expedition. Okay. Okay. Initialization. Boom. Let's have a little sip of my tea. Full planet already. I'm liking the flora. And planet Eurus. Go. Cool. Sweet. Well, I'll let you know once I've got control of my character. Right now. There we go. Expedition 15. Aquaria. Okay, let's have a quick look at this expedition then. So we've got to locate our starship, leave the planet, reach the first angling destination. Cool. Okay, well let's uh, let's do that then. Let's, we won't read too far ahead. Got to get to my ship, which is over yonder hill. Coolio, and there you go. Some expedition notes there. Pretty cool. Sweet. Like it. Okay. Right. I think we understand all of that. I'll see you at the ship, people. Now, I'd imagine when I get to the ship, the ship's not going to be in a good state, is it? It's going to be broken. So I'm doing what I always do. And on the way there, scanning a few things. And so I get the secondary element. And so there we go. I'm going to get dehydrogen now that I blow up this rock. And I'm going to be picking up some other resources. Basic resources, basically. Basic, basic. Yes! We're getting some carbon. We're getting some rocks. And if I see some blue crystals, the dehydrogen, I'm going to get that as well on my way there. I'll see you over at the ship, people. Something to check is make sure your multiplayer is off. Yes, and uh, PvP is so off. Lovely. Chubbly. Another little tip. These plants actually give you oxygen. Now, you can zap them and get oxygen, but you see these little nodes. You can actually pinch these off of it and get extra oxygen. There you go. Then get it in distance, zap the dang thing. There you go, I'm zapping that from behind me. That was pretty gnarly. Boom! Extra oxygen for moi. Heck yeah. Okay, chums, well, I've located my ship. Oh, it's quite a nice looking hauler. Oh, it's the one with the broken neck. I'm not really into the broken neck haulers. Okay, here we go. Looking closer, there appears to be a bottle. Lodged into the launch controls. Retrieve said bottle. There is a message inside the bottle, scrawled in a hasty hand and torn form from a larger book. It reads, I, fi I finally feel like I'm getting closer. A trader on Gisto offered me solid gold information on its location for a price. And so I'm selling my ship. I'll miss the Celeste, but I have to know if the rumours are true. I hope whoever buys you takes good care of you. At the bottom of the message, someone has added a handwritten set of planetary coordinates. Input coordinates. Universe address is valid. OK. Hold on. Is my ship actually working then? OK. A message recovered from the bottle stowed beneath the seat. OK. And it's given me portal codes. I find like I'm getting closer to the train. OK. All right. So I've got to go there, have I? Right. Well, I'm going to have to commit that to freaking memory, aren't I? Or can I I'll take a picture of it with my phone? One second, people. So yeah, got my little picture. Lovely. So does that mean I can just take off? I don't have to fix the ship. 
I'm sure there was flames coming out of the top of it and smoke, wasn't there? No, it's perfectly fine. Oh, no, it isn't. It, it, doesn't need, it does need fixing. I didn't think we'd be so lucky. All right, right. I need to get pure ferrite and I need to make the hermetic seal and also the metal plating. But what have we got here? Oh, brilliant, eh? We've got ourselves a lovely little personal refinery type thing. Well, let's give ourselves a nice little boost to our movement to start out with. And I'll put that over there to get the adjacency bonus. So if you match things against each other like I'm doing here, you get like a little adjacency boosts to everything. Right, eh? So I can jump on out. And I need to make the ferrite dust, don't I? So let's get that in. Ah, pure ferrite. All right, fine. So if I go over to here and get my ferrite dust that I've got, slap that in there, put a little bit of fuel in, that'll turn into pure ferrite. There we go. We've got the pure ferrite on the bake. Nice. What about the um, hermetic seal? What do I need for that? Condensed carbon. OK, well, I can get that in a second. I might need to zap a few more plants, though. OK, there's some there. I would just zap those while I'm refining one thing. Doing two things at once, people. Lovely jubbly. I've just noticed I've got a second sort of stream of sound there. So let's just mute that. That might help a little bit. Boom. Let's uh, zap this one over here. OK, I've run out of juice, have I? Let's just zap that one then. Kaboom. Aha. Let's go to secondary element. Now, I have looked at all the other badges. There is no point in overly scanning any creatures or anything. There's no badges for that. It is all pretty much predominantly fishing. It's all about fishing, people. Oh, yeah, well, you probably guessed that, to be fair. Anyway, let's just zap all these. Right. How's our um, refining going over here? Let's have a look, see. We've got our pure ferrite. Nice. Now we need to get condensed carbon. So if I get the carbon that we've got already, stick that in there, turn that into a condensed variety. OK, we might need a bit more of that. I'm going to grab some more carbon. Lovely jubbly. Well, yeah, this is coming along quite nicely. And zap. Right. We've got the pure ferrite now for that, so that's all good. Now, to do these, I need metal plating times one. Have I got enough to do a metal plating? No, because I turned all my ferrite dust into pure ferrite, didn't I? You can't turn it back again once you've done it, people. So I need to go find some rocks. I'm going to hit the save marker over here. That's going to give me some navigational data. You'll see it pop up here in a second. Yeah, everybody likes a freebie. I guess they do. Right, where's the blinking rocks then? There's a rock right there. Oh, dang it. I need a, an advanced mining laser for that one. Is there any other rocks around? Yeah, there's one. I'm going to zap you. Are you going to give me 50? I bet it gives me something like 41 or something. Boom. No. Uh, 22. Okay. We might have to zap a few rocks. Okay, there we are. There's another one. Chicka pow, you sneaky little rock, you. Chicka boom. One more for good measure. You're going to be an advanced one. Yes, you are. You're an advanced critter, you. Dang it. When you want, when you don't want rocks, you trip over the dang things. There you go. What have you? Lovely jubbly. Kaboom. And I'm just going to grab all this dehydrogen anyway. There you go. It can't hurt to do a little bit of resource gathering, can it? Right. Let's go see if we can make that metal plating. Let's go see if we can get a little bit closer to taking off. Up cha. Feels weird not having all my movement modules and being as gnarly as I normally am. Yeah, here we go. Let's make the uh, metal plating. So, metal plating. Done. And then we're going to have to make the hermetic seal. And I need the condensed carbon for that. So let's go back to the exosuit. Let's see if that's ready. Condensed carbon. I've got twice as much as I need. This is nice. Come back out of there. And let's make the hermetic seal as well. Chicka pow. Let's go back to the old starship. And let's get that repair decated. But bop and bop. Done, dilly and done. Right, well, that's all done. However, the next one is leave the planet. And then the next is go to the next destination. Now, for me to go to the destination, I'm fairly sure I'm probably going to have to warp. For me to be out of warp, I need to get microprocessors, which are a lot of money. So I need to get something on this planet that's worth a lot of money. Bear with me. OK, so there's a lot of these sort of plants that you're going to see around marked by like ears of corn. 
Now these sell for a fair bit inside of the actual station as well. So I mean, there you go. I hover over it. Four, four hundred, four thousand eight hundred. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. So I might just go around and grab a load of this. There's a chance I might be able to turn it into bait as well if I've got any left over. Is what I'm thinking. So you know, two birds, one stone in a roundabout way. Was that an oxygen plant there? I can see a red glow. Yeah, there we go. So our oxygen plants will glow red and the sodium plants will grow like an orangey yellow. Well, cool, I'm gonna grab this one. All right, I'll reconvene when I've got a load of stuff. If I come across something that's worth more than these, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, well, they, they have been nice enough to give us a terrain manipulator. So I went over and found a cobalt deposit. I'm gonna get the cobalt out the ground. It's not going to sell for a great deal. It might get me one microprocessor if I'm extremely lucky. I mean, that wasn't a great deal of... yeah. Again, look, it, it's not as good as the plants that I was on about before. What the fudge is that one is at home? Oh, that's more cobalt over there, and there are some airs of corn there. So I'll go grab those as well, and then um, hopefully reconvene with you guys in a little bit. Okay, something I've spotted is a subterranean relic. And my actual um, hazard protection was getting low, so it might help to just, you know, pop into a cave anyway. Cool, and then we can pick up all of these. These sell for a fair bit each, so very, very nice to find these. I guess. So if I have a look at those, subterranean relics, they're going to get me a fair whack. So not too bad. The, the uh, plant life that I've been picking up by far is the most valuable though, isn't it? Uh, we've got this hazardous flora going on inside of here. All right, anyway. Yeah, so what I can do is everything that I've discovered so far, which isn't a great deal, and if I go into the discoveries and hit upload all, that should give me, well, it's given me some nanites. I was hoping it would give me units, but there we are. But hopefully, once I get up to the actual station, we might be okay. Okay, what's this big chunk of yellow stuff in the ground as well? Let's go and manipulate that out of the ground, shall we? Okay. I'm going to shrink my beam when I mine this. Okay, so it's copper, which is great, because this turns into chromatic metal. And we may need chromatic metal to make our warp fuel. So, there you go, let's just grab all of this out of the ground before we go anywhere. Heck like, yeah. And I should have enough carbon on me to turn this into chromatic metal, should we need to. And we've got our portable refiner on us, which is great. Okay, we'll leave this with us. Okay, chums, well, I think I'm ready to take off. Now, whenever I leave the very first planet, whenever I'm playing an expedition, is I tend to shoot the planet's surface quite a lot, um, mainly because it's going to give you a load of carbon. And if you can shoot these hazardous flora, it's also going to give you oxygen. But you're going to get a fair few resources. You can see the resources going up at the top there. And then if we do need to put down a base at any time or whatever, at least we've got all the basic resources to do it. The only thing is, your ship at this stage isn't all that powerful. So, you're not going to get a great deal of resources doing this. I don't know whether it's really worth it. Now, you can swap to your rockets and fire, but fire a little way into the distance, or else you end up shooting yourself and wrecking your shields. But yeah, you can do this for as long as you like, or until you get bored, basically. But, oh, there we go. Look, there's a hazardous flora there. Oh, I missed it with a missile. I'm probably not going to be able to take it out in time. Oh, there we go. We've got him. There's another hazardous flora there, but I, I bounced off the ground. Ah, I missed him. Dang it, didn't manage to take him out. But yeah, you get the idea. Anyways, let's uh, let's take to the stars. There we go. Got it out. Zoom. Lovely. Discovered by the angular. Cool. All right. Got it out. There we go. We've left the planet. Is it going to give me enough to actually install the warp drives? It never does on these expeditions. There we go. Base computer plans and pre-packaged hyperdrive unit. Freaking awesome. Okay, there we go. We've got base computer plans. And they've also given us a pre-packaged warp drive. Lovely. Sweet. Now we need to craft our warp fuel. Um, so antimatter housing. There you go. I do need the chromatic metal. So that's lucky I got the copper. So if I go on over here, hit this up. Still got a bit of fuel in there, which is cool. Look for my copper. There we are. I'll just slap in half of it for now. That's going to be making my copper on the bake. 
So I don't need I didn't need to get a load of stuff to sell to get the microprocessors. Normally you need microprocessors to build your warp drive. So it looks like they want you to move a little bit faster than that. And now you do need the oxygen and ferrite dust to create your antimatter housing. Let's just make two of those. Now hopefully once this is done, 50% there. Hopefully that's going to give us enough to make a couple of warp sort of cylinders and we can warp to the next system. I'll reconvene in a moment once that's done. Okay, well that's done. Let's take that out of there. And then we should be able to make our antimatter. And we should be able to make our antimatter here. Okay, I might make one more of them. And then make two of those. Done. And we can slap that in there. We can do two warp jumps. Cool. There you go. And let's um, go into here. Let's see how far we've got to go. Can we make it all the way there? We can get there so far. All right. Zoom. And we're on our way. Okay, Jums has given me the ability to call in the old Nexus. So I'm going to call in the Nexus. And I'm going to go in here. It gave me this ability after the second warp jump. Now, I did bring a load of stuff with me, including more warp fuel from the console. So I'm going to go and grab that. Righto, chum, so here's the console here. Let's go hit this up and let's go squirrel out all the stuff that I need. So I need that for some, you know, whatever reason. But let's get all the technology out first, because at least I can get that installed -cated anyway. So we get all that into my shifty ship. Lovely jubbly. Cool. Right, well, I'll reconvene once I've got all this out. I might have to install a few bits to free up a few slots. So if I come out of there, I'll just show you what I mean. So you go, I've got all these, so I can install these in here. So I'll stick that in. I might as well put that over there. Put the scanner over there to get an adjacency bonus on scanning. Exosuit. Where was all my other bits and bobs? Oh, I've got a couple of scanning modules, so I might as well slap all of those in then. Lovely jubbly. And uh, yeah, I'll get all the rest of the technology installed. So here we go. There's my idiom drive. Brilliant. S-Class warp. Nice. Another S-Class warp. Brilliant. And one more. That's going to help me get around a little bit, isn't it? Okay, and then we've got a scanner. And we've got the aqua jets there. We could do with a few more slots inside of our ship, to be honest, couldn't we? I don't think I can even recharge that. But yeah, I've got two scanners there. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully we get some more ship slottage upgrades at some point. Righto. Well, that's that's pretty much everything I can do for now, isn't it? And let's let's go grab some more stuff out of here now. Lovely. And yeah, I'm going to just screw all of this into my ship and I'll reconvene with you in a moment, people. I don't think I need them, but I could do with a load more chromatic metal, I guess. And my baits. Yeah, let's grab those too. Right, wait me a minute. OK, well, I'm going to leave the rest in there. I don't think I need it. This sort of stuff I didn't really need to bring with me. I'll, I'll take the hypnotic eyes just in case I can stick them on a hook, you know, and maybe the rancid flesh. That'll do then. OK, it might come in handy for catching my first few fish. Maybe. OK, right. Cool. Now just to continue on with the actual path in the galactic map and get us to the first fishing point. OK, let's head on out. Sweet. Right. Well, I've arrived at Cated in the first rendezvous point. I could go inside of the station and upgrade my actual um, exosuit one slot. And also would add it to a teleporter terminus, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to fly down to the actual planet. And every jump in every system, you could do the same inside of the actual space. And normally increase your suit exosuit storage if you really wanted to. But anyway, I'm going to head down to the planet. OK, secret fishing spot one. And I've just seen a, a um, comms ball pop up. And this was the first comms ball that did pop up. And I'm wondering whether it's here. There's a couple of comms balls. I think it might be here. There's a lot of comms balls. I think this is actually it. I think that was the approximate location it was showing. Oh my days. I'm really late to the party by the looks of things, people. Hello from Italy. Well, hello there, Italy. Sweet. Well, we've arrived, Kated. Is this it? Yes. I think it is. Let's go to the expedition. OK, maybe not. Not quite yet. Oh, saying 300 and something used this way. 
All right, I guess over this way then. Bit random. That did look like the secret fishing spot to me. Oh well, we'll go this way then. Probably have to come back this way in a moment. Do some fishing in this little pond. Right there. Okay, well we'll see what happens when I get to where I need to get to, people. So it's 200 U's this way. Won't be a moment. Yeah, it says mission objective located. I don't, um, I don't know. It's gone a bit freaking weird on me. Okay, right. Let's head on over here then. Let's go see what this is all about. Sweet. Done. I rummage through the cache of rusted innards. It appears to contain a schematic for a piece of fishing equipment. Yes, de download. Lovely jubbly. Okay, carbon nanotubes and dehydrogen jelly. Hopefully I can make all of that right now. Time to catch some fish, I guess. Okay, so let's go into here. So yeah, I need to make the hydrogen jelly. And three, count them, three nanotubes. I can only make one. Dang it, I need some more carpent. Right, so we need carpent to make carpent and nanotubes. Chicka boom. What's that? I'm looking there. Any carbon? No. Right, okay. Um, I'm not seeing hardly any plant life. Hold on. What about that mushroom? You carbon? Yes, you are. Brilliant. Oh, we've got a whole stack of different mushrooms here. Hopefully that's going to give me enough for my carbon nanotubes. Let's zap a few and find out, shall we? Come on. Explodicate. Oh, there's another one right behind that one. Cool. All right, well, leave it with me. I'm going to harvest some mushrooms. Okay, well, we've got our carbon nanotubes. Right, so let's go on over to here. And let's see if we can make this wonderful fishing rig. We can indeed. Sweet. Okay, well, there we are. And I guess if I head back towards my ship now, that's where there's a little fishing lake, isn't it? Anyway, let's um let's have a look see if we actually completed the next step. Collect reward? I guess. Alright, yeah, I've already got that. Coolio. And next off, what are we gonna do? Acquire the fishing rig. Ooh, I think I have. Test the fishing rig. Okay. We can do that down by my shippity ship. I'll see you there. Holy fudge, people, look, there's some giant bug creatures here. Oh, they're very cool, aren't they? I guess they are. Hopefully they don't want to bite me. Are you friendly? Hopefully they're friendly. Right, we'll head on down here then, anyway. Let's uh, test out our rod. I guess. And I've got some baits on me as well, so this should be fun. Cool. Okay, right, so if I go over to here and go to my baits, I actually have a shadow bait for catching stuff. Oh, why didn't one let me use my shadow law? Starship is out of range. Okay, let's just go on over to my ship. Okay, I'm closer to my ship now, people. Let's go on to here. Let's now choose my baits. And let's put on that shadow bait. Boom. There we go. Attracts nocturnal fish. And it's night time right now. So here we go. Let's give it a go. Let's cast that out. Let's see how lucky we get. Come on, little fishy. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, we've got a little bit of a bite going there. Kapow! We got you, fish! You're mine! We got a pond skipper. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, we just popped a new badge. Lovely. Okay, sweet. Underwater survival blueprints. Nice. Okay. Underwater protection module. Technology. Okay. We've got all sorts given, gifted to us there, people. So we'll get that installed. We'll stick that over there, I guess. Um, What else did we get? Did we get anything else that's quite cool? Not overly, no. All right. Well, shall I carry on fishing for a bit longer? I think I should, really. Oh, hold on. We've got a reward there as well. Use live bait while fishing. Okay, cool. I didn't realise that was live bait. But there we are. We got that too. We unlocked a badge on another phase. I didn't mean to, but we did. Okay, catch your first fish. I've got to catch five. Okay, so let's um, let's continue on with this lure, shall we? There we go. 
Oh, it's not night time anymore, though. Come on, little fishy. Fish, 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 fish. Make noises like fish. Maybe it might help. I don't know whether that's a fish noise. Probably isn't. Okay, come on. Come on. I want it to go green and then I'll slap. Gotcha. They haven't put much haptic feedback in this. They've really missed a trick with this one. There we go. Boom. Oh, balls. Okay. Caught an uncommon fish. Hopefully that, that still went to my infantry. I'm hoping anyway. No, did it heckers like? Okay. Well, I can't actually fit this in my ship. Dang it. Okay. Um, well, I can use that to refuel this. Well, that, that didn't do much, did it, to be fair? I can use this to recharge that. Hmm. Okay. Um, we can get rid of a little bit of carpent, can't we? We can get rid of a little bit of that. What's this? Oh, the Angler's Diary. I better hold on to that because it's a questy type item, isn't it? I should have gone to the old um, space station and sold these, shouldn't I? That would have freed up two slots. Okay. Well, let's... Um, you know what? I could release the fish that I caught. So I think there is a badge for releasing fish. So I'll release that one anyway. I think I'll release five or something. I should have changed my bait to something that's not night time, eh? Then again. Is it getting dark now? Come on then, fishers! Boom! I guess we caught that. Nice. Okay, a saltwater minnow. Okay, well, let's change the bait out. You know what? I might stick on. Take that out. We put on that octopus tentacle because I've only got one of those. It's going to free up an extra slot. There we go. That's not a bad idea, is it? Sweet. Oh, it's only got one on there, though. So sometimes when they come up and nibble, your bait goes. Oh, let's see. They've taken the bait. They've taken it already. So now there's no bait on my line. So I don't know what I'm going to get. Oh, we got a mud crab anyway. Well, that's, that's not bad, is it? All right, let's have a look what else we can put on bait-wise. Wonder if I can put on any of those plants that I harvested that I was going to sell. Yes, you can. I can put some sweet root on there. It's not going to do too much, but there we are. It attracts nocturnal fish, I think. If I read that quick enough. Probably not the best bait to put out there, but you know, I've only got to catch five fish, so it doesn't really matter. Got a little fishy. There we go. We've got something going on. Boom! Oh! We've got an old boot. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. How weird's that? Okay, the one that got away. It's a good story. Okay. Well, I just popped another badge then. Um, that's in another... That's, that's in phase two as well. I didn't mean to. We've done those two ambiently. Oh well. We got given a dangling orb, I think, as well. Oh, here we go. We've got this one. Inventory is full. Catch your first five fish. We're still doing that. Let's go into here, then. Let's see what else we can put on. We don't really want that, then. Oh, oh dear. Well, I've got no choice, really, to continue fishing with that. It doesn't matter. We don't want to catch five fish. Let's, let's hope we get a fish this time. Not a welly boot. Come on! Fishy, fishy, fishy! I'm going to get you a little fishy. Heck yes, little fishy. Okay, here we go. And are you going to strike with my bait? Sweet. Kapow. Okay, wading in. We caught our first five fish. Sadly, though, can't really pop anything because my inventory is full. Cook a fish dish. Cook a fish dish. Okay. All right. Well, we need to get the nutrient processor. What I think I need to do is pop on up to a space station and sell some stuff. So I'll see you at the space station, people in the view of us. Oh, chance. They didn't give us much tritium. I've run out of tritium. I wonder how many of you run out of tritium. Could do again some pyrite. Pyrite also works. But I've been scanning for asteroids that contain tritium. There's none. And even if there was, 
Uh, I haven't got any ship storage to put it in. So it's it sucks. Yeah, I got a, a freaking minute. It feels like forever. And into the station for the first time. Triumphant music. We finally made it here. Felt like forever and a day, like a slug and freaking taffy. There we go. Let's jump on out then. Let's go and sell some stuff because I'm overly endowed with shizzle I don't overly need. Thanks to me putting stuff in that terminal and picking it up when I didn't really, really, really need it. But we can sell some of that stuff that I picked up on the first planet to try and make myself some money. Because to be fair, I can I can pretty much put any sort of bait on the line, can't I? We we'll get rid of the rusted stuff. Might keep the old boot. How much? I already get six hundred ninety-five for that. I don't know. We'll, we'll sell it anyway. I might sell some of these fish. I mean, we can release them, but I have seen we need to catch a hundred fish in total, and there is actually a badge for selling the fish anyway. So, you know, either or, we'll get rid of that. What else have we got? I get rid of the hypnotic eyes too. Might as well. Um, what can I sell in here? I sell the mud crab. All those stasis devices, they can go. And I think that's pretty much everything that I want to sell at this point. I can sell the ferrite dust, I suppose. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I needed that to make my um, antimatter housing. Then again, I picked up a load of warp fuel, didn't I, anyway? Anyway, let's go to buy, because I might need to get some life support gel. And... Oh, I need tritium so I can pilot my freaking ship, I guess. And they don't sell any pie right here, but at least I've got some fuel for my freaking ship. All right, there's some traders here. They might sell some more tritium, or they might sell some other bits and bobs that I can grab. Let's have a look, see. Hello there, mate. You got anything that I can buy? Off to trade. I'm looking for pyrite. I'm looking for some more tritium. That's what I would like to find, anyway. All right, well, leave it with me. I'm just going to go around a couple of them. Okay, now before I move on, what I'm going to do is go into the expedition and claim these badges. Sweet, we've got a nutrient processor, so we can make that fishy dish. I might have to catch a few more fish because I went and sold my fish, didn't I? The one that got away? Ah, we've got some inventory slots. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, get those installed. I guess, get them down here. Brilliant, eh? Sweet. Oh, looks like we've got a movement module as well. Nice. Be able to move a bit quicker. We've got this that we're going to stick in. Oh, no, that's aqu aqua jets. All right, fine. Okay, what's that? Launch auto charger unit. Okay, yeah. We can't install anything in the ship yet. Sadly, they didn't give us ship slottage. All right. Is there anything else that I've got? Uh, we've got to go do that one. Gather some seafood. And then we're going to make something in the neutron processor. All right, I guess I'm going back down to the old planet then, people. I'll see you down there. Okay, right, well, I've landed. And um, I've got my old fishing rod. There we go. Let's get some bait on. It's night time again, so I could use that shadow bait again, can I? Well, we could just carry on using this. It tracks nocturnal fish anyway, so let's just use up these. Plop! I only need to catch some fish to do some baking, and hopefully we've completed phase one, haven't we? So there we go. Got a little fishy on a little dishy when the fish come in. They take up a lot of your inventory space. You could do with getting that um, floaty boaty thing that's got storage in it, you know. Boom! You're mine, fish face! Slap a jack! Cool. Got that thing. Alright, well, let's um let's put down a nutrient processor then. Ah, we need quite a lot to put down this nutrient processor, including sodium. Balls. Okay, I don't think I've got any sodium on me. I haven't picked any up anyway, so we need the hermetic seal. And what else did we need? Metal plating. I can't see how many metal platings it is because it's underneath me right now, but there we go. Okay, so metal platings. Da -da -da. Ah, I need some ferrite dust as well. Is there any sodium plants on this little island? Of course there's not. All right. I'll be back with you in a bit, people. Right, so I've headed inland. Now, I think there is actually a badge for building a base a little bit later on. I might build a base at this trading post. It's not near water. 
but uh, it might be handy because it's got a galactic trade terminal on here so I can sell fish quite easily you know so I might just put down a base computer here if I can I mean I've, I've got quite a lot of chromatic metal so why the fudge not there we go let's just claim this now the beauty of claiming a base is I can now glitch in a nutrient processor. There is a lake just over there as well. But here you go. I'll show you how to glitch something in. So if I select the nutrient processor, if I press triangle on PlayStation, which is wire mode, and then if I press R2 and triangle, the wire mode button again at the same time, bang, you can actually build stuff without having the actual ingredients. Cool. There we go. Let's uh, put in this little fishy guy then. And let's see if we can make a fishy dish. Edible charm. Done. Heck yes. I can take that with me now. Prepared the fishy dish. Okay, there we are. Let's go into here. Let's claim that. There we go. Catch of the day. Supreme life support upgrades. Ban hazard protection upgrade. Lovely jubbly. We've got all sorts there. Let's have a look if we can get those installed quickly. And that can go there. And what else do we get given? Oh, this one. Sweet. I can go there. And we've got this too. Oh, no, that's the Aqua Jet still. Okay, right. Uh, what's that? Advanced Mining Laser. Heck yes. Slap that on there. Anything for anything else? What's this one here? Conflict Scanner. I need a free slot in here, don't I? And that's Launch Thrusters. Yeah, I need to get my ship upgraded. That's what I'm really hoping for. All right. Let's see if that gives me some bits and bobs. No, this is going to give us all of the posters. Sweet. There we go, people. Well, I have got this base here, but there's nothing stopping me from building another base over by a lake in the next episode, peeps. So, yeah, I'll probably do that. Anyway, that's all of phase one done. So that's this video done, essentially, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going to go jump in and out of my ship just to create a nice little save. And then we'll be moving on to phase two in the next episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed episode one enough to come back for episode two. That'd be awesome. And if you have, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't lose my channel and you can find me easier. You know, it helps. And it helps me. It helps me massively. So yeah, and if you want to hit a like, it helps the YouTube algorithm in suggesting my videos to more people. And hopefully my channel will grow. Till next time, people. Salute on Monday. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.